guys can you hear me can you see me i will also open my laptop to be able to read your questions comments if you will have any or oh, just let me go here yes we are live i can see our slide so greetings from germany i'm still in germany still traveling and uh, still hopeful to return to Kharkov, Ukraine really soon. Uh, the more I travel over the years, uh, the more I believe uh, Kharkov is the best city to live in in Europe. And uh, with every trip and every city that I see, I just uh, I am more and more convinced uh, that Kharkov is really a number one city for me. What I wanted to talk to you about today, I wanted to talk to you about uh, uh, dating, to give you some dating tips like always, and to tell uh, how have uh, changed or not changed the priorities of ladies and gentlemen uh, since uh, the war has started in Ukraine. So. Uh, pretty much uh, within the last several weeks, uh, after we have decided to uh, continue with our matchmaking process and introducing um, our female clients, Ukrainian ladies, to our current male clients and to new male clients, I have been in touch with uh, many Ukrainian ladies uh, who have uh, relocated from Kharkov and from Kiev to the west of Ukraine to uh, Western Europe uh, to Central Europe. So, of course, first of all, we wanted to be in touch with uh, the members of our current database. And also, like always, we want to expand our database, especially since right now we are focusing on ladies who speak English, because uh, like we have mentioned in our previous videos, we want to add one step into our matchmaking process and to introduce uh, our current male clients to ladies who are currently located uh, in Central and Western Europe, at first by Zoom or Skype date, uh, before they meet in person offline in the country uh, that is convenient, both for the lady and for a gentleman. Mm, pretty much uh, it can be a country where a lady is currently located or they can choose something together. So, um, within last weeks, I have been in touch with many ladies who are living in Poland, Ukrainian ladies, and uh, ladies in Germany who have relocated here like five years ago, seven years ago. And of course, uh, such ladies, if they are in Germany, they speak German, some speak English, and uh, we have tried to recruit more people like that into our database for our matchmaking process. And uh, it is interesting to compare our, what ladies uh, have to tell about their priorities um, in the man they are looking for. Uh, if, for example, she is from uh, Ukraine, but lives in Western Europe for several years. And uh, if she is uh, from Ukraine and she is temporary in Western Europe. And what I have to tell you, well, uh, even if she lives in Western Europe for two, three years, for five years, pretty much uh, values that Ukrainian ladies are looking for in a man and uh, qualities that she is looking for in a man, uh, they are still the same. So regardless if she is uh, uh, temporarily relocated in Western Europe or if she has relocated uh, several years ago, and for example, she uh, already has a permanent residence permit, uh, whatever, still uh, they want to meet someone uh, who is traditional, someone family-oriented, uh, someone uh, who is reliable and with whom she can build a family. So I can't say that uh, there is a huge difference. Of course, if uh, a lady has uh, 
lived in Western Europe for a while. Uh, some of them can tell that, okay, I want to date someone who also can speak uh, Russian or Ukrainian since I have tried dating, for example, someone German or have uh, tried dating uh, someone who speaks local language and they understand that it is not for me. But from the very beginning, uh, when we have started this channel, when we have started talking about international dating, I have repeated so many times that international dating is not for everyone. Not all people will be open to mix cultures, to mix different traditions, to uh, actually embrace a new culture. Because if you consider, truly consider international dating, you have to understand that uh, uh, you will have to get to know her culture as well as she will have to get to know your culture. It can work only this way. Uh, it's impossible. Uh, it's ridiculous to expect uh, that uh, everything will be just smooth, that there won't be any cultural differences. People who choose international dating for all the right reasons they actually like it that there will be uh, many foreign languages, two foreign languages in their relationship, that there can be two religions, for example, if uh, a gentleman is Muslim or Jewish and the lady is uh, uh, an, uh, Orthodox or Catholic, like Russian Orthodox right now, it's Ukrainian Orthodox. Uh, I think the churches have divided. But again, let's uh, not... Uh, uh, name an elephant in the room and uh, let's try to do this stream politic free since all Ukrainians I read a lot about politics daily so let's talk about love so some people they think that okay I like some men think that okay I like the looks of Ukrainian ladies I like that they take great care of their clothes choice, of their appearance. So I want to date a Ukrainian lady, but at the same time, I want her to be not of high maintenance. I want her to be very hardworking. I want her to be not uh, money-minded. And I want her to like split bills and to pay everything 50-50 in relationship. I want her to have a career and I want her to have three or four babies. So sometimes gentlemen come up with such unrealistic expectations. So it's kind of like they try to pre-select certain features from uh, Ukrainian culture. For example, the fact that our ladies take great care of their looks, invest lots of time into it. Uh, but at the same time, they kind of neglect all other aspects of our culture. And our culture, ladies love... Uh, being in a relationship, uh, not on this leading position. Uh, they prefer it when a man leads and uh, they follow. It doesn't mean that uh, they are spineless creatures and they don't have their opinion, uh, but our society is quite patriarchal. So you have to keep it in mind if you consider international dating especially if you consider dating uh, Slavic Ukrainian women. Sometimes men say that, okay, I have been to Thailand or to Philippines, so I know everything about international dating. You can't really compare uh, culture of Ukraine to culture. Well, you can compare it, but you can't claim that uh, uh, it is very similar to Thai culture or to uh, culture Philippines. It is not. Hmm. I wonder if all of you are sleeping right now. I have been talking for almost nine minutes and there were zero questions because usually when I do live streams, there are a ton of questions. Okay, then I have all the freedom to talk about everything I want to. And uh, perhaps I will get some questions and comments after I actually share this live stream. So uh, what else I wanted to talk to you about? Um, Within last week, I have conducted several interviews with potential clients, with current clients, and this topic of dating a woman who is uh, of not high maintenance 
it has come up during, I think, uh, 80% of uh, interviews that I have been conducting. Of course, in Ukraine, it is possible to date a lady uh, who thinks it is crazy to spend like half your salary on shoes. And uh, it is crazy to do your nails like every week. Why to spend so much money on it? Uh, if, for example, you can do it yourself, there are ladies like that. But you have to understand that their mindset and uh, uh, pretty much their ideas of what is worth investing money and what is uh, not worth to spend ton of money on. It's it is a little bit naive to think that she will have this uh, glamorous uh, type of looks, that she will have this fancy clothes on and she will uh, look like this Instagram model and she will be super down to earth and she will be not of high maintenance. So, uh, it is interesting that even with all uh, this crazy situation that is going on in the world uh, with the war that Russia has started with Ukraine, men still care about looks and they care about it a lot. Um, when I have just uh, arrived to Poland, like many other Ukrainian ladies, after the first initial shock, I was starting looking for a place where I could do my nails because you know what? Uh, it is a habit to have your nails done. If, for example, you are doing it since you are 18 and you are in the safe uh, place, you have slept, you have eaten, of course you want to do it. It's similar like a vision to uh, have a shower. And on Instagram, many uh, our current clients and uh, I have quite a big blog there and the majority of subscriptions that I have are ladies and some gentlemen as well, my readers uh, have published three books for ladies. So they were asking where did, I do, uh, where did I do my nails, can I share contacts? So you have to understand that yes, Ukrainian women are like that. She has managed to escape to safety and she overcame her initial shock and of course she wants to wash her hair, she wants to uh, clean uh, her clothes and she wants to do her nails. So in our culture, women do take particular care of their looks. And uh, also, if you have been to Ukraine, if you have been to Kharkov, Kiev, Odessa, I'm sure you have seen the amount of places where you can do your nails, your uh, eyelashes, your eyebrows, your hair, like there are tons of places. Uh, if you will walk down the streets in Warsaw or in Germany, uh, you won't see such abundance of such places, so cultures are different. Uh, I don't want to tell you right now that uh, your nails, the superficial things, or for example, a hair part is a necessity during the war, uh, but many ladies who have evacuated, yes, they want to do it, they want to have clean hair and uh, they want to dye it if they were doing it prior to the war and they can afford it. Uh, why I am sharing all this with you? Uh, the majority, like 99% of people who watch uh, this our channel are meals. And some gentlemen think uh, that, okay, I will start dating a very, very beautiful woman from Ukraine and uh, for sure, just because I like her looks, she will share all my values and uh, uh, she will have similar long-term goals and she will be on the same page with me about all the important things. Like for example, money and what is worth spending money on, what is not worth spending money on. And uh, when they start dating such a woman or they start courting such a woman just because they, want, they find her hot enough, uh, they face a huge disappointment because it turns out that she has different priorities. She disagrees with him uh, about important stuff 
like for example money if we are talking about money in uh, this video in this live stream so men often forget that uh, yes it is important to feel attracted to your partner but attraction should be built uh, on comp compatibility on the fact that uh, you have similar values are similar long-term goals similar understanding about relationship gender roles desire to have and not to have kids how these kids should be raised whether for example she should be a stay-at-home mom or both parents should be working parents and then it will be a teamwork raising kids so all this important stuff and instead of this some men choose to be very picky or very choosy about the looks because they have been on people at the dating sites or because they have spent hours on instagram or on tinder so pretty much they turn their search for the life partner into uh, this hunt for the most glamorous picture and that's kind of stupid if not to call it ridiculous in a sense that it's a very very poor strategy if you want to build a healthy relationship uh, difficult situations and right now ukraine is in an extremely difficult situation we have war to win and uh, many families had to leave their hometowns uh, relocate temporary and even if uh, in their city it is um, mm, safe as it can be in a country that is at war people are under lots of pressure and of course uh, this situation are it will either make many couples uh, even stronger in a sense that uh, they will see that uh, with this person I really can overcome all the uh, complicated times as well as good times and some couples unfortunately won't make it why because from the very beginning they have chosen each other for all the wrong reasons if he has picked her just because uh, she has the looks and has the use and uh, she has picked him just because he has the money imagine the situation that for example um, his income is not as uh, higher stable as it used to be or for example she is under stress and uh, she can't take such good care of her looks as she used to be there won't be any reasons to be together anymore she has chosen him uh, because of uh, his money and his position she has chosen him because of that and he has chosen her because she is uh, young and pretty and uh, if in her opinion uh, money that he provides is not as good as it used to be what is the sense to be with him I was thinking about this song by Lana Del Rey Will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? Or during situations uh, like the one we are living right now of course uh, many people have showed their true faces uh, if this person is truly kind if this person is truly strong if this person is truly uh, sincere and honest with himself, herself, or with the world. Um, so, when you start dating someone, when you think about investing your love into this person, and the motto of our company is where you invest your love, you invest your life, I strongly recommend to think if you will still like your partner if you will still be choosing this person 
If, for example, tomorrow the war starts and you are in a dangerous situation, do you think that your partner and you will be still choosing each other? Or, for example, think about a happy scenario. Um, unexpectedly, uh, you win a lottery or you inherit a fortune out of a sudden. Will you still be choosing this woman? Or, for example, if she wins the lottery or she inherits tons of money, Will she still be with you? Will she still choose you? How will this uh, new reality influence your relationship? Um, from time to time we get requests and even uh, after the war and uh, during these interviews with potential clients, gentlemen tell me that I won't have to be like very hot I can't just date a woman who is not attractive, I want her to be this, that, and then he gives you a list of this uh, quality that he is looking for, and they all are about appearance, like uh, uh, her facial features, eye color, hair color, uh, even bra size, hair, etc. All these features and uh, when I ask him and how about uh, some other qualities, not appearance related, and he said that, oh, of course she has to be like kind, loves kids, uh, down to earth and blah, blah, blah. And you understand that these qualities, uh, he hasn't named them because he has a very poor understanding of what relationship and marriage is about. Building a relationship, and especially marrying someone, just because she has certain features and certain looks, it's such an outlasting strategy. It's strange to talk to a phone. Hi, Gerald Kimmich. I was just telling that it is very strange uh, to have uh, just two messengers because usually once I look in there are like plenty. But I have decided to use this opportunity to talk a little bit uh, about dating, about love. By the way, uh, while I am Officially, uh, I don't like this word a refugee. I prefer calling it a forced traveler. Uh, so for a while I am forced to travel around Western Europe before I can return to Kharkiv, Ukraine. I have decided to, of course, continue working and I conduct multiple interviews every day and I'm meeting ladies which I really, really enjoy. And also I have decided to finally start writing something in English because I have written and published three books in Russian for ladies and my third book, I, I, I was supposed to have a book presentation on March 8th and we have planned a beautiful event, unfortunately, uh, because of Mr. Putin we couldn't do it, but I still hope to do this presentation. And by the way, good news are we have evacuated uh, almost all the books that were printed uh, to the west of Ukraine and we have been sending them to ladies who have pre-ordered them for a few days already. So uh, my readers will be getting books. I have decided to actually invest time into writing a book in English for gentlemen and I have decided and I have already started doing it. Uh, I still have my doubts. Of course, I have lots of stories which make it related to share with gentlemen and I have been doing it in this channel for years and I love English. It's a beautiful language and uh, it is interesting to actually play with English words 
because I have been doing it with Russian language, my first two books are published in Russian. Um, it's interesting to do it in English, I'm excited about it. And uh, like with Russian books, I hope this English book will also find its reader. I'm uh, a little bit shy about it uh, in the sense that I'm not a native speaker and uh, Perhaps some people will find my writing confusing. Uh, also, I'm concerned if men are as active readers as women are, because women, they love reading. And uh, since I have published uh, the books, uh, the qualities, uh, quality of ladies that we have been accepted into our database, it became so much higher. I believe that People who read books, really, uh, they are way more open-minded and curious uh, than people who just watch TV. No offense here. So, of course, our My Books for Ladies, they have helped us a lot to expand our base of female candidates. What else I wanted to share with you? Uh, when you think about dating someone, think if you can like this person. When, for example, you are forced to spend the lockdown together, uh, when, for example, um, you are forced to spend like three months together, five months, or, for example, if the two of you will be forced to relocate, or, for example, if vice versa, things will if things went extremely well and you have been promoted, your business has become very successful, or she has managed to build a business and now she is very successful, both professionally and financially, uh, will she still be choosing you? Will you still be choosing her? I think I've got some questions. I will read them really quickly. Uh, hello, I will read them on the computer. Uh, hello, nice to see you. It is nice to see you too. I look forward to reading your English book. Thank you so much. I feel excited about it. It's a nice new experience. How is going? Slava Ukraini. Wish you well. Uh, thank you so much. So far in Germany, uh, people have been supportive and there is a huge uh, Jewish community uh, in Germany and also the community of Ukrainian Jews and uh, I have already shared in some of my videos that uh, I'm married to a Ukrainian Jew so we have met some uh, relatives, friends, uh, some uh, people with whom uh, my husband grew up with in Kharkov and uh, uh, I like it how united they are and also I would say that the whole Russian-speaking diaspora, even Russians who live in Germany, who have left Russia, uh, they have been very supportive as well. Mm, another question, uh, was English hard for you to learn? To be honest, I don't remember. I have uh, started learning it in school and uh, then for the whole university. At 18, I was already doing some jobs, translate, translation related, so doing some translations. And then I did business English in the university for two years. I have taken a course. So from all the languages, foreign languages that I have learned, and I speak German also, and uh, um, some decent Mandarin, not super fluent, I don't know how many years you have to study to learn Chinese and to study Chinese to be fluent in it. And I have some basic understanding of French. English so far have been, has been the easiest. Um, I didn't know Germany still had a big Jewish community. Oh yes, huge. And there are many diasporas, like Turkish diaspora, Jewish diaspora, Ukrainian Jews, they are all like united. Um, hey Svetlana, I hope war will be over soon. We all hope that it will be over soon and we feel excited to rebuild everything. 
Of course, life won't be the same. Um, I think it will be very, very hard for Russians to redeem themselves in a sense that uh, it is hard to think of uh, just the Kremlin and not the whole country. Of course, I understand that uh, many Russians do not support uh, Kremlin and their president and many have left Russia. Many who could do it uh, live right now in other countries and they want to do nothing with Kremlin even though they loved cities that they have left behind are, but still it is complicated to think uh, it, is, it will be possible to think of Russians now without thinking of the war in Putin. Uh, in a sense, yes. Um, so far, I'm not sure if I will be selling my books, uh, I mean my uh, books in Russian in Russia, even though I had readers there as well. Uh, probably after they change the president and all the government, I can think about it. For now, we have to choose sides. So, do I have any questions uh, dating related, our new matchmaking process related? By the way, just yesterday we have found out that uh, another our couple whom we have uh, introduced prior to the war, they have applied for K-1 visa, so we will have another engagement to celebrate soon and I feel extremely, extremely happy about it. So guys, if you are still watching us, uh, greetings to you, to the Sun State in United States. So, if you have a dating related question, I can take that one. Or uh, if you don't, I'll congratulate on creating another couple. Thank you. Or, uh, yes, this is why we are doing it. We are doing it to actually spread love, to create couples, uh, mixed couples, because I believe that international couples, uh, they are truly unique and one of a kind. And like I have mentioned in many videos, International dating is definitely not for everyone. Not everyone uh, will feel happy uh, in in the environment environment where you have mixed cultures. Not all people enjoy it. You have to be truly open-minded for it. You have to be truly romantic. You have to be curious. So some people they will do so much better. If they date someone from their culture who speaks the same language, who went to the same university, so there be are very, very few differences. So it's definitely not for everyone. And by the way, uh, tomorrow I will share with you a video that was filmed uh, right before February 14th. I actually uh, pre-filmed several videos because I was planning to leave for a vacation on February 18th, which I did. And uh, that's how I ended up traveling around numerous countries because I had left before the war for a vacation with my husband and my kid. And uh, of course, they haven't returned to Ukraine uh, since uh, they have flown the sky and uh, they couldn't fly back and it didn't make much sense like to get a kid back there. So uh, I will share that video with you uh, because uh, it's uh, still uh, a good video with solid dating tips and advice. Uh, the one that will be shared will be uh, devoted to the smaller Tinder swindler uh, about uh, dating scam on Tinder. So I believe for it's still a good topic and uh, at first I was very protective about these videos that I had filmed uh, in the office prior to the war but then I saw that okay I will share them once it is appropriate because dating tips are still good why not to use them mm, another question uh, I hope
have to meet my Ukrainian lady once she gets a UK visa. Uh, you mean uh, your girlfriend? You have a girlfriend already? I hope she will get her UK visa soon and you will reunite. Uh, it's the English version of your book published already. Sorry if I miss it. No, I don't think that I will be translating these three books uh, into English at this moment. Uh, you see, uh, they have lots of uh, humor that people can understand only if they are really fluent in Russian or Ukrainian and uh, if they have so-called uh, Russian-Ukrainian slavic spirit and lots of jokes they are understood if you are from this eastern region of Ukraine, from Kharkiv. So they are written for women and uh, they have lots of humor there dating related humor so i'm not sure if i will translate them into english yet probably i will translate them into polish language i consider this uh, but the one i have started writing in english it will also have humor dating humor um, and it will have dating stories uh, but i think i will write it more unisex if in a way for gentlemen and for ladies both uh, I see some questions uh, I think that war in Ukraine is a lesson for of high value to future partners we choose a partner not because she or he is hot but because the partner shares our frame of life with its ups and downs Yes, you are right. Uh, some people underestimate uh, the importance to actually have lots in common with your partner, to share same long-term goals, uh, to share same values. It is important to actually like your partner. Why there have been so many divorces during the lockdown? Because people were forced to actually spend time together. And many have found out that they actually dislike their partners whom they have previously chosen and said, I do too. Uh, since it seems like you are recruiting women from other European countries due to the war, no, we recruit only Ukrainian ladies. We recruit only Ukrainian ladies uh, that are currently located or that are temporarily located in Western Europe and in Central Europe. So, some ladies from Belarus as well. Why not? And by the way, for those gentlemen who wanted to date a Jewish Ukrainian lady, since right now I am inside this Jewish community, Ukrainian Jewish community uh, in Germany, I have many really really good candidates for you so if you wanted to date a ukrainian jew we have new ladies in our database i still need dating tips so i look forward to see the video yeah. so one more question and i think we will finish it because my phone will die soon and it's it's almost midnight here and I need to catch my sleep. So I think I have time for one more question. I was thinking what I will be doing right after the war. Of course, returning to Kharkov. And uh, I know that our plants, our beautiful flowers in the orphans, uh, my mom has watered them last week, but some of them have died, unfortunately. So, I will go flower shopping and I will buy some new plants, some palms. So that's my secret dream. So guys, if there are no questions, I want to thank you for this conversation. 
Please let me know in the comments below if you actually enjoy such live streams or if you prefer videos that I pre-film for you beforehand. Uh, there is a question speaking about Jewish ladies. Is it true what I heard that they are not open to others' communities and they are closed in their choices to Jewish males only? Of course, if she is very religious, she will be looking for a religious uh, Jewish man. And uh, same applies uh, to Muslim ladies. If she is uh, very religious and religion is very important to her, then of course she will choose to date inside her community. Mm, international dating and dating someone who represents another culture and another religion, you have to be very, very open-minded, romantic, curious, cosmopolitan in a way, it's not for everyone. So international couples, they are truly unique. So it's such a huge cliche that, oh, I will just fly, to, for example, Ukraine or to uh, Poland if I want to date a Polish lady and everyone will be willing to date me. No, no. It will be complicated to find people who are truly open to international dating, and especially who are open to international dating for all the right reasons. We have invested lots of time, time long hours into creating our database. And uh, it is uh, so important for us right now to actually feel this support, like all the ladies who are in our database, most have been reading my books, reading our blogs, watching our videos, and Alessia has been also doing uh, with me a blog, Alessia, our psychologist, uh, in Russian language on our other YouTube channel for ladies for like almost seven years. So pretty much our database, when we have started texting and asking like, are you still open to date? Like many of us so, so happy that we are still doing it and uh, we are referring friends. So uh, we have managed to build quite a community. We call it a love brand, I think, in marketing now. Uh, so I see that uh, you are wishing me good night, love your live streams, thank you. Uh, are there any other gentlemen who love the love st live streams? If you do, please uh, don't forget to press like and to comment below this one. Then I will know that I should do them more often. So I truly cherish your feedback. Good night. Looking forward to know more about uh, these Ukrainian Jewish ladies. We'll see. Guys, I want to wish you a great evening, late night. Um, if you think that right now is the right time to actually meet someone and why not, not to meet a Ukrainian lady in Western Europe, you can email us, leave the request at our website. By the way, I hope that in a few weeks we will redo the design on our website. So a small surprise for you there. Uh, I hope that our programmer will do it. And I want to wish you love. Thank you so much for spending this 43 minutes with me. Bye. And uh, I hope you will enjoy the video that I will share with you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget that it was pre-filmed in Kharkov. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.